Once a customer has purchased a piece of equipment and has integrated it into their operations, whether it's a printer or a piece of manufacturing equipment, you know it's got to be up and running at all times. When it's not, it impacts the bottom line. It impacts revenues. It impacts customer satisfaction. Equipment will need maintenance and there will be downtime, but providing technicians the state-of-the-art tools that will enable them to minimize the amount of downtime, to me that was a very interesting problem to solve, a very meaningful problem to solve. And that's why we developed Care AR. CareAR is an augmented reality software platform that lets you remotely resolve issues using three-dimensional annotation that gets anchored onto objects in real time. And it's fully interactive, so you can do it whether it's one-to-one -one or one-to-many, and it allows you to really truly visualize what the person is doing remotely and add three-dimensional annotations to that video to help resolve the issue faster. CareAR is the only augmented reality platform that's fully integrated with ServiceNow and certified with ServiceNow against their FSM, ITSM, and CSM domains. It's all about content with context. When a technician's on site and they're trying to troubleshoot a problem, you have the ability to get information about the asset being repaired or maintained or supported. This results in immediate impact benefits, such as faster first call resolutions, improved customer outcomes, reduced operating costs, deflecting unneeded dispatches, streamlining skills gaps and knowledge transfer, and ensuring audit and compliance. What I'll do is show you what the experience is like um, within ServiceNow and leading into Care AR. I can just go in and look at my different tickets that are open and uh, the associated tasks, pull up one of the tasks, and right there I have a button that says Care AR Assist, and that's because of the integration that we have with ServiceNow. So when I press that button, it's gonna take me to a page that allows me to launch the CareAR Assist application. I have a contact list of all my colleagues who are in the app as well. And if I needed to invite a customer, for example, and put in their contact information manually, whether it's their phone number to send a text message or their email address to send them an email, they'll get that invitation with the URL. Now that we're in a session, I am looking for someone else's expertise to guide me to complete this task. So when I go ahead and turn the camera on, now we actually really begin the session. And the person who is joined remote can see the live video from my camera feed, and they will have all the tools they need to be able to annotate. And there's a number of different tools they have at their disposal. And um, most of them are directly annotation. And so everything that you would expect to be able to do, for example, there's a pencil tool, which provides the ability to do freehand drawing. And you can pick the color and line width and, and those fun things. Um, you can also place an arrow and choose the direction and the color of the arrow as well. And you get this three-dimensional block arrow placed you can place um, a text label if you need to point something out. There's also um, a pulsating circle, which allows you to kind of point out a hot spot, you know, maybe something that you're not supposed to touch, for example. We're able to actually create this surface map. So when you place those annotations, as I move the camera around, the point of view is gonna change and those annotations will stay attached to those objects, but their size and direction will change to correspond to my point of view that I'm holding the camera from. When you wanna capture a, an image from the session, you can do it right within the app. I can just press that camera button and I know that it saved the image. And then you also have the ability to turn on the flashlight of that device remotely. Ultimately, it's improving the bottom line. Empowering workers with the right expertise and knowledge, reducing the number of truck rolls, and providing as much information to those parties involved in resolving the problem as possible. And what company wouldn't want that?